to give Romania a stronger and closer IT link with the outside world, Ericsson were engaged by Rome Telecom to lay opto cables under the bottom of the river Danube. There were two possible methods of accomplishing this task. The cables could either hang from the suspension line of existing overhead power lines or to drill under the bottom of the river Danube at the town of Galati using a method known as directional drilling, a technique developed within the American oil industry. The second alternative was chosen for two reasons. The cables are better protected and two free subducts are created that can be used in the future. To accomplish this operation, a company called Steerud RB, who are experts in the field of trenchless technology, were engaged by Ericsson. To create the hole and at the same time grease and seal the walls of the drill hole, bentonite and water are mixed to form a slurry. The mixture is then pumped at high pressure into the drill pipe. Steering is controlled by a spoon-shaped drill head. This head can be precision steered and eats its way through the ground in the desired direction. The transmitter is positioned at the front of the drill head and transmits a signal to the computer located on the drilling rig. A guiding wire is fed through each pipe in turn until the whole distance of the operation is completed. The guiding wire is removed after the hole has been drilled and before the pipe is pulled backwards. The transmitter estimates its relationship to the north and south poles and from these readings information about the river bottom is obtained. When the pilot drilling has penetrated to the other side, the drill head is removed and a reamer bit is mounted instead. The purpose of this is to create so large a hole that the pipe can easily pass through. After mounting the reamer bit, the protective pipes with the subducts inside are screwed into position. The drilling rod is drawn back and the protective pipes creep further in under the bottom of the Danube. At the same time, new slurry is mixed. The drill pipe and reamer bit are removed gradually. Here is a sketch showing the result of the drilling operation. The total drilling distance is 515 metres at a depth of 29 metres under the water level. The whole operation from the time drilling started until the pipes were in place took a total of five working days. <laughs> 